Hey guys, uh, we are here in Granada, another game, and we are going to show you the positive and the negative effects of the developed cities. So let's start and follow me. Well, I'm here to introduce the negative aspects. The first one is water pollution, which is a really big problem right now because we have uh, we're putting some animals and plants, and we have to stop doing that because we will eat that animals and we will kill ourselves. Right now. There is noise in all city. It produces a lot of illnesses like uh, cardiovascular disease, stress, and lack of concentration, like here. Here we have a smoke, which is the combination of smoke and fog. In Granada, this is caused because it is between mountains. Air pollution is nowadays one of our most important problems because there is so much carbon dioxide in the air. Soil pollution is caused by chemicals at the crops and by rubbishes. We are going to talk about a huge shopping center called Nevada. It was built in a forbidden place and it brought lots of problems. It's a good example of consuming Granada. Not all the things are bad. Also, we have positive aspects to say, like new technologies, 3D printer, public services like hospitals, schools, tramp and shops. And also we have natural spaces like Sierra, like Sierra Nevada, one of the most famous natural parks of Granada. I'm learning how to fly in the Chumbo of Granada with Nuria Marquez Lopez, Daniel Lopez Mude, Aurora Puerto Rodriguez. And I'm here with Francisco Ruiz, the major staff. And we're going to talk about the pollution of Granada. I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. The first one is why it's so important to take action to prevent pollution. Well, preventing pollution and protecting the environment is a priority for Granada City Council, but it must be a priority for all of us. We are what we breathe, and that's enough to be conscious about this, the importance of this. Uh, for the first time in years, society has begun to be conscious about climate change. The changes we see today may affect our planet forever. And that's why we have to protect our planet, which is our home. That's so good. Are there high levels of pollution? Well, unfortunately, Granada suffers from this problem. It is the Andalusian capital most polluted and supports levels of pollution similar to those of Madrid. Okay. And uh, what does the term who do to improve their quality? Well, we have set in motion several plans. The first one is the Quality Air Plan. This plan will help us to locate the most polluted areas of the city to take actions to protect the environment. The second is the noise map. Granada is one of the noisiest cities of Spain. With this map, we will certainly know the sun level distribution to take actions against it. And of course, if we are talking about preventing pollution, we cannot forget the traffic. We have launched the Metropolitan Underground which has reduced in Granada the presence of over 12,000 vehicles in just one month. That is a success in sustainable mobility for our city. One million people have used the other one in just one month. 
and we have also launched a bicycle rental system. That's interesting. Do you think bikes are working well? Well, uh, despite the vandalism problems, I think that this system has meant a transformation in the way that citizens move around our city. Uh, in fact, we are on the top 10 cities around the world in the use of these rental systems, which I think is a success for all of us. And I think it's a good idea, uh, and if you take, you can practice sport too. Yes. And the last question is, has Ronaldo received any award for his work preventing the pollution? Yes, indeed. Granada has received two awards, known as Pajarita Azul, or Pajaritas Azules in recognition of the excellence in the management of selective collection of paper and cardboard, uh, a distinction awarded by ASPAPEL, which is the Spanish Association of Paper and Cardboard Manufacturers. So thank you for having us today here. Thank you. I'm going to ask you some questions. Do you think it's a good idea to establish a group here? No, because uh, in Granada there is a lot of traffic and the underground only uh, make it worse. Do you use the bike all for all, all bikes? No, I don't buy like, uh, bikes. Do you think the term pool is helping to reduce the pollution? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm going to ask you some questions. Is there pollution in Granada? Yes, I think there is pollution in Granada, but I don't think it's the most polluted city in Spain. I think Madrid, Barcelona, they are, most, they are more polluted than Granada, but I think there is pollution in Granada. Do you think it's a good idea to establish the underground here? Yes, I think it's a nice idea, because uh, there are many villages uh, near Granada that they had to to drive here to work or to go to the center, but <coughs> it's uh, nice. Do you use the bike or for, for, for bikes? Yes, I have taken them uh, a few times, and I think it's very good because you can go anywhere <coughs> in, in my bike, and you don't have to take the car. Uh, do you think the town hall is helping to reduce the pollution? Yes, I think they are helping to reduce it because uh, they put um, the bikes, they put uh, the buses, the underground, and it's very nice because you can go everywhere with public transport and you don't have to take the, the car. So, thank you so much. Hi, I'm going to ask you some questions. Is there pollution in Granada? Yes, there's a lot of pollution. I think that Granada is one of the most polluted cities in Spain. After Madrid and Barcelona and Valencia, uh, I think we have so much pollution and we're not such a big city. Yes. Do you think it's a good idea to establish the underground here? Yes, I think it's a very good idea because uh, in this way people can use the public transport. Uh, instead of using their own cars or uh, motorbikes or any um, any bike vehicle, and if they use uh, public transport, it's uh, the pollution will be reduced uh, very in, in a very in such a big way. Do you use the bike for over or bike? No, no, I don't because I live in the center city, so I go walking everywhere. Uh, do you think the town hall is helping to reduce the pollution? I think in in certain way they are because they they uh, established this bus uh, the lack. It was a good idea to to incentivize the public transport and, and again with the, these bicycles. Um, but I think there's a lot of more to do because if people are not concerned they and they they don't use the bicycles, you can put whatever public transport, but you have to uh, invite people to use them. And I think that's something that we have to change in the schools, in high schools, and with uh, education. So thank you so much. You're welcome.
Bye. Just give us some question. Okay. If they're producing Granada, why do you think so? I don't think there's very much pollution in Granada because, I mean, it's a clean city. There's not like a lot of garbage on the streets. Uh, I don't think it really doesn't smell that bad. They keep everything very clean. And the people here are also very conscious of um, how they how they get rid of their garbage. I mean, they recycle. Um, I think it's a clean food. Uh, do you think it's a good idea to establish the underground here in Uh I don't know if I think it was really necessary. I mean, I think they need one that goes throughout the whole province of Granada. But just in Granada, to me, it seems like it was kind of unnecessary. Not for pollution, but for lack of use. It's, I don't think it's very useful. I mean, we have the bus. It might be a little faster. But if it doesn't go from Granada to the beach, or Granada to, you know, like somewhere a little farther away, I don't think it's very necessary. And do you use the bike or for over? No. I, now I don't use any bike, I just go walking or I take the bus to work. Uh, do you think that the town hall is helping to reduce the pollution? Yeah, because they are always cleaning the streets and they make sure that there's a lot of garbage bags throughout the city and they change the bag a lot, so I think that they're very helpful. So, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem.